Hi everyone. How is your English grammar? Take this short quiz and find out. Can you pick the right answer? I have 10 questions for you. Here's the first one. He was born dash 1985. Would you write at, in, near or since? The answer is in. He was born in 1985. The second one. Can you do this? He has not met his niece dash two years. Should it be since, for, near or at? The right answer is for. He has not met his niece for two years because we are talking about a period of time. If you talk about one particular point in time, then you would say since. All right. Try this. He lives dash Mumbai. Should it be at, from, in or on? The right answer is in. He lives in Mumbai. What about this one? What should you say? There is a bridge along the river, on the river, against the river, or across the river. What's the right word here? The answer is across. Why? Because it helps you cross over. It is going from one end to the other end. From one side to the other side, it is not going along the river because if it were going along the river, you would never be able to cross that. All right. Hope that makes sense. She bumped dash her teacher on the way home. Can I say in, into, at or near? What do you think? The answer is into. She bumped into. You always bump into someone. And that does not mean that you are literally bumping, hitting into someone or banging into someone. It just means that she met him. All right? Met him by chance. That's what it means. She bumped into her teacher on the way home. Try this. Would you mind to close the door? Or should it be closing or close or closed? The answer is closing. Would you mind closing the door? All right. What about this one? Like, is liking, am liking, likes. A hint for you. Everyone, maybe a lot of people, but it is considered as one. One group. And so, your answer should be likes. Everyone likes chocolate ice cream. Then try this. Should it be on, to, for or in? Of course, the answer should be in. He is interested in learning how to cook. Try this. Said, talked, told, or told. 
the answer is told. He told me about the fair. All right. Although it might seem very convenient to use the word telled because tell is the present tense. So tell should be the past tense. But that's not how English works. You will just have to learn the tenses. All right. What about this? Can I say oh, information or should I say an information because the word information begins with an I and it has an it sound information or should I say some information or should I say few information? What do you think? Well, the answer is some. You cannot count information. All right, just like you would say some milk. So some information. And with that, we've come to the end of this quiz. And I really hope that you did well and your English is good. We'll meet again soon. Until then, bye.